cut out again, you guys. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And I have been doing some research on the Res V3. So, like I mentioned in the last video, uh, I saw a video from Edward RC on YouTube about the capacitors for the Res V3 adding these capacitors to the 370 motor. Now, what I'm doing right now is basically what he did. Supposedly, that's going to help with the cutout of the Res V3. So, let me show you guys what I'm doing here. That's the motor there. All right, so as you can see, I took the Jimny apart, took the motor, the transmission out, it's laying right here. And what I got to do is the 104 capacitors, you need two of them. They're going to get put onto the motor leads. The here, there, attached to the side there. As you guys can see, I scratched it up a little bit there. And on the opposite, opposite side also, scratched it up right there. We're going to need to scratch that up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the capacitors onto the motor and it has to be two from what Edward RC was saying it has to be two so it doesn't cut out with the uh, for the Res V3 so I'm going to put the capacitors on real quick and I'm going to show you what I did so I got the first capacitor on now the first one that what you're going to want to do what I had to do here was I extended one of the leads coming to the side of the motor right there and the other side I just wrapped it around the post right there oh hopefully you guys can see that so I just wrapped the capacitor lead around that terminal this one I ran it through the hole and it's up against the motor there so the other capacitor I'm going to put through the hole of the lead right there and I'm going to shorten this one up and that is going to get soldered to the side of the motor there. Don't have to solder the first one to the side of the motor. It can just get folded into there. And the second one, you, I ran it into that hole of the uh, post. I'm going to snip this off a little bit and I'm going to solder it onto the side there. So as you can see, I got both capacitors on. Everything is soldered on and good to go. So now all I have to do is get the wire leads back onto here or this way. <laughs> However way that goes, I actually marked the motor so which one is negative and positive so I know where the leads are going to go back onto. Put everything back onto the C74 and take it out for a ride and see how if it's going to work properly so i'm going to put the leads back on for the battery and we'll take it out and see how it does I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? please lord give me a sign a sign
world just hunger thirsty persons in different versions each do what they that shit worsens why pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin we all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance yo do me a favor don't treat me like a neighbor don't need the different flavors of your problems just to save her i've got my own issues i need a comb to get through don't need to groan with you just go get your wrong tissue Sing along. Trust me, there's nothing wrong. I just need to carry on, cause society's a myth. Put there to make you sit. Listen to what they give. Don't ask questions, shut your lid. Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid. I need to run away from this and go get off the grid. Feel like my brain is overloaded, man. I'm losing it. Don't let them tell you what to do, man. They don't know shit. you guys and there it is as you guys just saw under load right back over there this guy just ended up cutting out again so I might have to get a hold of WPL um, and see what the deal is with that I mean everything is still connected one of the things I'm gonna have to do to get this guy to work again is gonna be to turn it off Wait. This is a statement to Turn it back on. It's just for the, if you make the remote, I gotta do the same thing. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Hit the find button. And it turns back on again. So let's see how it does again. Cut out again, you guys. So I got steering, but I don't have throttle. I just hit the bind button again, and it cut out. All right, you guys, and there it is. Now, for the second time, this thing ended up cutting out. I don't know what the deal is with it. Uh, I don't know if it could be a bad board or that the board can't handle the motor. I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's supposedly this. Supposedly this board should be able to handle a 370 motor, but obviously it's not because it keeps on cutting out on me. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a hold of WPL and find out exactly what is going on, why it keeps on cutting out. Um, you know, in that video from, that I mentioned from Edward RC, he mentioned to install two capacitors, which I did install the two capacitors that it would prevent it from dog barking. so it would prevent it from cutting out but as you guys saw I installed the two capacitors and this guy is still cutting out so options I have for it are either going to be get a whole ESC for it ESC motor uh, get in contact with WPL that's the first thing I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna get in contact with WPL and find out what is going on 
with this e with this uh, circuit board, and um, let's go from there. I think for the time being, yeah, it's going to suck because I'm going to lose the winch because this winch I'm not able to use it on a different. Um, I'm not going to be able to use it on a different um, ESC. So yeah, I might end up losing this winch, but I can always end up buying another winch to install it on here. So I'm not too worried about that. If I end up losing this winch right here, look, giveaway, I guess. I don't know. But um, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm thinking that I'm going to be installing a new ESC on this guy and getting a different winch to put on here. So with that being said, you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all have a good one, and you all keep our safe.